So, hello, welcome back to another episode of Euron Stars 4. We're of course playing with the Armband of Fantasy mod as the Wood Elves. And we're going towards the end. 1794. There's not much more waiting up ahead. We also are kind of fairly established. Our boys and everything are pretty pumped up. All fairly un un inefficient in terms of, uh, well, manpower and marches. We of course also finally decided to take quantity ideas and we see the result. Yeah. Kind of being a little bit ridiculous. Armies are popping up everywhere now. Swarming around. For nothing really in particular. Like there's no, there's no set thing that I need. We just have a bunch of dudes running wild. We also nearly fully reached the hegemony here. Which gives us a governing capacity when it's full, which we barely care about. The revolution is still working out their way through this area here and we do not care enough to actually take action. <laughs> I mean it's now so late into the game that even if we work towards it, I mean we're getting in minus in, uh, in prestige but I mean, my god, like, who cares too much about that? Alright. I could once again get a mage. Yeah, sure. Let's get a mage here. There you go. Of course, Dagadon comes with age as well. Military advisor as well. Let's not forget that. Uh, I guess we can also switch over to something decent. We're just gonna go over to Diplo because of production. Development. There's also, also only two techs to take. I'm currently thinking if I just, just p pick them ahead of time every time. So we have them done. Really? We can, we can barely stand around in our own territory. We have to always get outside. <laughs> Somewhat. Wait, do I have full? Oh, I, def I have full here. Okay. Let's get a manpower around. Hmm. I mean, there's also not really a nation. I mean, technically, like, I could start, like, a ridiculous war towards the end, but then speaking, that would just push the, uh, the end of the, uh, the playthrough. Away unnecessarily without any real result. I don't think that's necessary. We're just kind of waiting for stuff to come around. I'm also not sure what this number here means. I have to admit, is this is that the amount of uh, revolution? I mean, that's that. It's definitely not. Uh, it's the amount of centers. Hmm. Maybe that I see. Who knows? So now this is the last one, and even with that, we can only have 40k guys running around the, in our, in, inside the forest, which is always fun, I guess. <laughs> there is a lack of supply around there. Revolutionary running. Uh, these, these guys are all now having fun being revolutionary. How exciting it is. I mean, we've cleaned up the borders here. In most ways. Wait, Ernard, we can put, put me as the rival? Interesting. Are we a little bit beyond them? Also, their, their, their flag is very similar to ours. Like, very similar. They just have a few other forms, that's it. They also do have a chunky alliance net. Yeah, they have like five alliances. Including the, the, the big boy dwarves over here. 
who have who we actually bordering here. Now that is interesting. Now of course we could uh, uh, then easily more easily start a war. Yeah, but after all, who's the lowest here? Salalah. So maybe getting some more territory for them would not be too bad. I mean, we still we still have a truce with you, but I guess this one would be the only uh, area that I see to conquer. Would include all of these guys, but in the end, yeah, those are not challenges. No way or shape they are. In terms of that, well, still, I mean, we could promote, uh, we don't have any cultures that we could promote, so that's kind of useless. The governing capacity is also gonna be very useless. I mean, there's rarely any tech here that is worth, uh, like, pushing up ahead on. <laughs> Not to blow my nose here, of course. Yeah, screw it. We, uh, we want to reach 32 as soon as possible. So... I mean this might... I guess it, it, we might have to squeeze in another episode to really get towards the end. If we're not gonna start anything crazy. And I mean we, we're not gonna micro-range too much of our own stuff against in this war here. This one is gonna be mainly established by itself. I'm just gonna let the vessels swarm everyone over. Maybe at some point they'll start off uh, having their armies around, really. I mean, they have the manpower. They're just very terrible at when it comes to income. And I'm not sure why the AI is just incapable of make, uh, start using their land and development. Especially that we're, now that we're so late into the game. I mean, are they like... Saving up. I mean, they do have some money in the bank. But only some in the end. There would be too many revolutionary nations that we need to crush. We're all up here. I guess we're just gonna continue converting some stuff in our... Vessels territory. They're taking this stuff forever here. I mean, they're not quite that much ahead of the curve of missionary strength. So I guess that what that's what they're struggling with. Also, see if the Mahal connection comes around. I mean, twenty years. Are they gonna do anything? Also pick up the speed. Maybe then we're gonna have one episode of this. I mean, I don't think I can really rush for 20 years that easily. I don't think that's the case. I mean, technically speaking, we have tr we have truces with... Mm, okay, no, actually, we don't have a truce with you, but... We do have the connection here with the mountains for you guys. I mean, there would potentially be a few more provinces that we want. Would include the, um, uh, the Empire. Lost nationalism against these guys. Oh, because they ran out of... Oh, there we go. Let's push the prestige back up. <laughs> That's also a way to do this. What these other... Oh, those are the sector dwarves. It just looks weird because we don't see that. Yeah, I mean, we, we, have, we have found some stuff around the world. But overall speaking, it was not too much. I'm not just waiting for this war over here to come around. Mainly. The armies are all kind of ready. We are also actually... A rare occasion that we actually go towards the max of our uh, manpower with with these guys. I 
I also think it's fun that the red clades actually still exist. Because they are a uh, march of Laurent. But I guess Laurent has, has been out for a while now. That's what I assume. I mean, Gavet is still fairly strong. That's it. Sure, we, we need all of that, all of that, uh, these monarch points. This one is still very far away. Yeah, I mean, we're not gonna reach first place. No matter what we do. In score. Even though the score doesn't really matter, I mean, I've, we've never played really for that. I mean, I could build for the vessels. That's also true. They still need some stuff established. So, I mean, we conquered a bunch of new territory for them. That now needs to be worked on. So... Okay. It's a shame that it doesn't tell us, the, or doesn't give us the heads up that the vessels can build something. But oh well. We'll, ma we'll make just one long episode. <coughs> one boring long episode. <laughs> Because there are also still gladeways that I have not yet really worked on. So. After all, we are very far ahead on tech, so we can do this a little bit more often now. The developing. In the end, we'll see how much development we've reached. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is very underwhelming. I guess our our real strength is our client states around. And they, I mean, the main reason why they are not unhappy is because we keep giving them territory. The hundred, the hundred minus hundred percent. I mean, I guess at this point they're also gonna be fairly happy, no matter what. So there's that. Not go crazy with stability, no reason to spend that now. Diplo points. Oh, look at that. Generals, even though they are very impressive already, are still working on their skills. I like how highly they love these gladeways are. Like just that, that, I mean, technically speaking, these things are just like streets, right? Twenty-nine development. <laughs> I mean, we're still gonna get a full benefit out of it for of what it does. It's not like that. So, wait a second. The Magisterium is the Emperor. When? How did I only realize that now? The Magisterium is not a kingdom, usually. Is it because they went, uh... Revolutionary? No, you currently... F yeah, feudal nobility. Okay, that's interesting. I, I can only assume that they were fully conquered and then, uh... Rebels happened and they came back. Otherwise... I don't see much reason why they should be a kingdom at the moment. It's, do you guys have really have a? Uh, you do, Cocoa. That's impressive. What is this also gonna call an Elisna? Yeah, of course it does.
Oh, we already can fight against you again. Alright. At least now it's gonna get called in. I guess before we do that, we're quickly gonna put our boys in position, as always. I'm basically just using only using these armies here, really. I'm not using anything else. Ah, there we go. I knew it. Big boy revolutions are coming around and annoying me. I mean, we cannot really effectively crush the revolutions because... Well, they're not really visible. Wait, is this not gonna do anything here? Oh, it's it's the capital, that's why. Yep, there we have that. Oh, they're gonna annoy me with... Autonomy. Oh boy. Build up the gladeways, boys. Build up the gladeways. There we go. Oh, you guys are in the same position. That's not good. So, but I can't. Let's have some fun. You come here, you come here, you come here, and you're also around. So, also, do it a little bit slower. Otherwise, we're gonna get out of hand. Here we have potential. Oh, there we go. I guess... No, what? Let, let's wait until they're locked in. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is gonna be fun. So, uh, seeing that uh, effect... Okay, yeah, we're ne absolutely annihilating that. So... Actually, we're gonna send you uh, down here to help out. Oh, they just had some minor... Okay, but they're coming back. Dun 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 So... Like I said... These wars are currently a little bit silly. Either way. Barely use any manpower. What's the rest of the vessels doing? Come on, vessels, move around. Get your stuff done. Okay, they have some numbers over here. But I guess. Oh, not you, you are teaching. You are searching that. Like in, like in the, uh, in the, in the morale department, these guys are very far down, it feels like. So... Or maybe they start with less? You sp spread out somewhere. Aska Evran is also down. Okay, now we just need to wait for these guys to get some numbers back as well. There we go. <laughs> I'm kind of not really have anything to do with you, Besantas. I just like beating you up. This guy was not alive for long. That's underwhelming.
so... Still need a bunch of uh, manpower back here. <coughs> oh, didn't you realize that? We clear system, we don't need to want to lose too many dudes. So... I hope the vessels are doing that here cleanly. You guys are just having a fight over there. Oh, these guys actually just moved there, that's it. Now they're running, now, now they really want to know it. Oh. <laughs> yes, I see. Alright, sure. <laughs> they did really want to know it. Have a result here. Send them packing. You guys here, you guys here. These guys, oh, the, the, this, this, this vessel over there is a little bit slow to act. Like, they've gotten two sieges now and even lost one again. That's not nice. Come on, be a little bit more effective. A tiny bit more. Is that too much to ask for? Yeah, Resandas is definitely out. Yeah, and it seems like the revolutionary ideas are really spreading out around my territory. Like a disease. And they're really gonna slap down my uh, autonomy. What's the Magisterium doing down here? Have anything else to do? <laughs> oh, I just realized that there is uh, an army running around. Go away. Just go away. So. And once again, it's coming down to piecing out the lease now. Because they, like always, don't want to quit. Because they don't know when to quit. So. You come down here, you down here, you down here. Just need to lead a few more of their armies, I guess. <laughs> Maybe then they'll understand what's going on. Burn, 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 burn. Now, how's it looking now? Still very willing to stay around and be annoying. Didn't expect anything else from you. I mean, they already made it up to here. Okay, I didn't realize that. Okay, gold mine near floor has lost some value. Uh, you run over to this fort. Ok, 
Okay, now the capital is down. I assume that the listener doesn't no longer want to do that then. Yeah. We don't need anything else because, well, uh, everything else is already dead. <laughs> There's once again just a listener. So. Just stand somewhere, and then this army also stands somewhere. Alright, Bisantis. Because you guys are so special. Oh, wait a second. Do I do something silly? I could do something silly. Uh, sure. Salaminapas. Let's take all of that here. This is exactly that. Okay. Well. <laughs> Actually, see, maybe we can take a little bit. I mean, this is. I'm not sure how much development this is. Okay, we can't even take all of it. Then scratch. Then scratch that. Okay. Then we just want that. This will start the end as well. Oh, we don't have a diplomat. And then, in the end, you guys. So, to make life easier, let's quickly switch everything over to Salah. Or Salala. Pop, pop, pop. We'll see if we can completely gobble them up. Would be nice. Would be really nice. And we're still missing a few percentages. A few guys. Oh, Aska Evran is missing. Okay. Let's see, maybe my vessels... I mean, I can do anything about that. I need to tell my vessels to do that. <laughs> vessels? Please? <laughs> I don't tell me you have less less uh, less ships than these guys. That seems unreasonable. Come on. Uh, well it seems like they're not really doing anything. Uh these are run sport ships. These guys are not doing anything. Okay. I would say it's that. No, wait, you have a lot more galleys. Okay, but they're not picking the fight, so like that's nothing I can really do anything about. So let's do that. They are willing to do that anyway. Why do I now get the gold rush? <laughs> Whatever. So. Oh, and also, while we're here, once again, don't need that. Let's go to the clay twice. And immediately build stuff up. Alright, on this note, I guess we're also gonna end this episode here, so as always, like, subscribe, and shenanigans, and I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!